Welcome everybody, today's video is going to be very different from my normal content, but I just wanted to make a quick little video where I explain to you a new app that I found recently that you guys can download for free right now. The app is called Tilesetter and as you can see right here, I am just building a sprite using a sprite and we'll then put it into the tile setter just by selecting the image pressing control C to copy it, and then going over into the tile setter app and just pressing control V to paste it. You can do the same thing with the other image as for right now, I'm just using two images and that's really all you need to build a tile set. So we're now here in tile setter and we're just gonna go ahead and delete this object for now because we don't need it. It'll save into our index, but uh, yeah, we don't need this. So we just have this blank round sprite. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on it and we're gonna go over to blob. There's um, two borders that you can build which are basically just your tile sets. So blob is gonna be the main one that you use just because it has, I believe 47 sprites. So it's just a little bit more accurate but wang is just used for simpler things. So yeah, here we're gonna just put in the blob. And as you can see, there's gonna be a ton of dots and things going on. So this is actually very useful if you want to make a copy of this and just export it right now, um, as it will come in handy in certain game engines like Game Maker. But for now, we're just going to get rid of them. So how do we get rid of them? All right, we are going to select the top, the left, the bottom, and the right, and we're gonna do those all at separate times, but I'm just letting you know that now. So we're gonna start with the top, and we're gonna scroll down until we see the thing that we made um the other sprite that we had so we're going to click on that and as you can see it's going to display this on all of our tiles so we're going to do the same thing for the left the bottom and the right side so this is definitely not a perfect sprite as you can see here they don't line up um so this is not something that you're gonna want in your game you want everything to be tiled properly but yeah so we're gonna leave it for now and i'll show you guys the updated version once we go over into game maker oh so i totally forgot to show you guys how to export this so if you want to know how to export we're just going to drag along all of these so we have everything selected you're gonna right click and you're gonna go to export image there's other options if you have the pro version, which I believe is about 10 to $15 US, but we're just gonna go to image because it works just the same. So we are going to go to image and we're just going to place this onto our desktop and you can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it Talasat Test. And then you can use that image in whatever game engine you have. So for the purpose of this video, we are going to be uploading this into Game Maker, but this can work for any engine. So we are now in Game Maker, and as you can see, I have the image here. All I had to do is if we just go onto our workshop, we'll just bring this out. I just right click and then just go to create sprite from images. And then if you go to your desktop, I found the tile set. And then we have it here and then I just decided to update it because I thought that the other one was looking pretty ugly um, and then also I just want to move this out of the way because on almost all game engines you don't want to have uh, the first tile um, as anything so you can just move that down and out of the way um, but yeah so that's how you get a tile set into your game it is the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. It takes me about five seconds to make a tile set. But here is a test of the actual tile set in a game editor room. So it's looking pretty good. And I'm just going to show you guys how this thing actually works. So we just have an auto tiling function set up in Game Maker, which is you don't really have to do anything to make that active. But um, yeah, so as you can see, it's just like it's completely responsive. There's no glitches or anything. And this was made in probably about three minutes, four minutes. Hold on. Before the video comes to a close, I just wanted to say a few words. Our Discord has been getting some new people in it lately, which has been awesome. I love all of your support, so it's time to give back to you guys. Join the Discord to share your art, 
games, or whatever game development related projects you've got going on. I have a few projects going on right now, and I may be working with some other studios in the near future on some other games, but I do try to respond to both my Discord and my YouTube comment section whenever I have the time. Make sure to join the live stream tomorrow as we will be creating an entire game from scratch in one long live stream for celebrating hitting over 500 subscribers. It will be a nice chill stream where you can see the development process unfold, have a place to work on your own game at the same time, or suggest your ideas for the project live. I'll be doing the stream this Saturday at around 9am EST to 5pm EST. Thank you all for being a part of my channel. I better see you guys tomorrow, but until then, have a great life.